Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. So how are you all? How was your day? So in our previous video, we created one mobile application, which is your translation, okay? How you will translate. But today we are going to create one different application, okay? So today we are going to create any movie. Okay, like it is like that. The working of the project is like that. Suppose if you have any movie, like uh, you can take example of any Bollywood movie or any Hollywood movie, means any kind of movie. In that movie, if you have some characters, okay, so what will happen if you will click on that character? So you will get the Wikipedia of that character, okay. So now we will see that, how we will design. Even like a suppose if you want to open your Google via your application. So what will happen? Once you will click on your Google button, it will redirect you to your page, okay? So let's start our today's class. So how you will open your timetable? You need to just search for the timetable. You will get this interface. Now you have to just click on the start today. So as soon as you will click on the start today, you have to just log in. So how you will log in here, you can see our previous video where you will get all the information about how you will log in into the timetable. okay? So let's start. You need to just click on this create new app. It will ask you like, uh, you have to write your project name. Suppose I want to write my project name is redirecting. Miss, this will redirect you to your particular page. Okay. After that, you have to just select your category. Whatever category you want for your project, you can add. Even you can add more than one category. So suppose I want to add the business, developer tools, entertainment. Means you can add up to five categories. Okay. After that, what we want. Okay. So, what you will do now, you need to first uncheck this. If you want to upload your application into the Play Store or your Apple Store, you have to uncheck this. Okay. Now, you need to just click on the create button. So once you will click on the create button, that will redirect you to your main development area, okay? So this is your main development area. Over here, we have our component window. So whatever component you want for your project, you need to just drag that component from here and you will drop it here like this. Over here, you will get your screen which is like your property window. If you want to change the background color or if you want to attach any picture, so you can do by using your second window. So this is your screen, this is your development, okay? Here you need to just strike and drop all the components, whatever you want for your project. Suppose first I want to change my background color. So whatever is your favorite color, you can select, okay? Suppose I want to add the screen color. After that, if you will take any movie, you can take any example. Even you can add some cartoons also, okay? So what we will do, we need to just drag and drop the button. So you will get your button. So for the button, you have to just write whatever you want the character, okay? Suppose uh, we can take an example of any cartoon like a Mr. Bean or Tom and Jerry. Suppose I want to add Tom and, Tom and Jerry, okay? So here you will get that. So whatever background color you want and whatever text color you want for your project, you need to just click on this text color. Even you can increase the font size. 
Even you can add some background color also based on your choice. After that, if you want to add the label, label means any text. Suppose you want to add some text about your project, some information about project. You need to just click on the text, remove the label, write down whatever you want. Okay, suppose I want to write like um, what you can write your project name, post redirecting. Okay, so you will get that. After that, whatever font size you want for that, even you can change. Suppose I want it a little bit big. Whatever font color you want, you can change. Okay, like this. Now, so we have a two option here. What option we have? Either you can add your web viewer, like I, when I will run that application. So here only you will get your information or else that will redirect you to your website. Means we have a two option. So if you want that become here, you need to just drag and drop your web viewer. So this is my web viewer. If you want this web viewer, Below to your button, you have to just try again. Okay. Now, this is our design part. We did our designing. How we will add some instruction here. How you will add some coding. So we have two options. We have design here. We have block. So we need to just click on the block. So what is our first step? when you click on Tom and Jerry, okay? It means when you click on my button. So here you will get your button when you will click on the button. So what we want? We want all the result about my Tom and Jerry we have to show, okay? So you can just go to your viewer. You can set your URL, okay? Now, what is the next thing? You have to open one new tab. You can just search for Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. So here you can just take the Wikipedia or whatever you want, copy one URL. So this is all the information about Tom and Jerry. I will copy this URL, you have to come to your project and here you will paste that control V. Now, if you will click on live test, means you are testing your project, okay? So as you can see, we don't have anything here. But if I will click on Tom and Jerry, you will get the Wikipedia here about your Tom and Jerry. See, here you will get that. So all the things you will get inside your application. No need to search explicitly here. So like that, you can open the Google also. So what we will do now, we will just take a Google URL. So this is my Google. Okay, you need to just copy this, come to your project, just go to your design. First, you have to add one button. You can adjust this button wherever you want. In the text, we have a button, so I will write Google. Okay, you need to just go to the block. Now, as you can see, this is your button too, so you will Take this when button to is click. We have to just go to the web viewer. We will take URL. Here you have to paste your Google URL. Okay. Now, if you will click on the live test, you will get two button now Google and Tom and Cherry. So now, if I will click on the Google, just wait, it is loading. Wait. 
so you will get your google okay so in this way you can add any web viewer inside your thumb table and you can just redirect while clicking on the button okay so this is our design part and in the blog you have to add some instruction okay so thank you so much in the next video again we will create one new mobile app okay so please please like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more latest update thank you so much